each year we pick one specific word that we as a church family can sort of focus on. And this last year it's been purpose. Our purpose as a church is to see generation after generation become fully devoted followers of Christ. And I hope it's empowered you to be able to live your life with more purpose. Now, what I really care about in this church is seeing people's lives changed because of the hope of Jesus. We've seen people find life purpose and meaning because of Jesus. And we've seen many, many people who've been planning on committing suicide come to the church and uh, find hope and help because of Jesus and re-engage with their life and family. That's pretty amazing. And we've also seen a lot of people set free from drugs and alcohol addiction. God made us with a passion, with a purpose, and he gave us a promise. And I just think that that is so encouraging. I'm so grateful that God would do that. Because listen, I don't know if you're like me, but I think about the best times of my life. It's the times of my life where I wake up with purpose and passion. It's the times of my life where I wake up and I'm like, man, I got a mission to accomplish today, right? Sometimes in the moment I'm like, it's tiring, but when I look back, I'm like, oh, I would never trade it. I want that to be us every day as a church. I want us to live with purpose. I want us to live with passion. I want to give Jesus everything. And as a church, this doesn't mean stopping at 1,000 people in three services. What about 3,000 in 10 services? What about planting churches around the state of Indiana? We're not going to stop at one orphanage in Haiti. We're not going to stop at a few missionaries in Afghanistan. I think, man, I don't want to just do one recovery house. I don't want us to stop there. I want us to be a bastion of generosity that will transform the state, region, and world with the name of Jesus. Each person has a story. When I think about the chance that we have to change people's lives, when I think about what God has already done, I'm like, God, this is not the end. Let's keep going. I mean, as a people, we can do so much for the kingdom of God, and it matters. I just love that God knows what we're doing and loves it and rewards it and cares about it. This means we're going to reach our neighbors, friends, family, our co-workers. We're going to pursue Jesus with our whole hearts, reading His Word, praying and seeking Him, and serving Him and leading His church and giving to Him. He is no fool who gives what he cannot keep to gain what he cannot lose. The currency of this life is passing away, but the love of Jesus will never pass away. The promise of Jesus will never pass away. The rewards of Jesus will never pass away. And make no mistake about it, the throne of King Jesus will never pass away. So let's live for it. I thank you that you give us passion and purpose for every moment of our life. I pray that as a church, as we step out of this year, you would help us every day to live for the purpose that you've given us. In the name of Jesus, all God's people said, amen.